people of planet Earth, my name is Tunji Kaka and welcome to my daily cryptocurrency news and commentary show where I talk about news and commentary on cryptocurrencies and blockchains. Welcome guys. Today the market is a little bit green if you look at core market caps has come, but it's not green enough. It's not green enough. I still roll my eyes and say, come on guys, come on guys. This is not green enough. Those people that bought at $20. Um, twenty thousand dollars or ten thousand mm. dollars. It's not green enough for them, you know. But traders are happy. Traders are happy. There's volatility. Let's go over to the news. The first news I want to talk about today is that Twitter bans cryptocurrency. This news I'm reading it from Bitcoinist.com. Sky News is, is reporting that Twitter is planning a new advertising policy that will be rolled out in a couple of weeks. This new policy will ban cryptocurrency ad for wallets, token sales, and ICOs. This new banning policy will apparently be on a global scale. Now, isn't this fantastic? First, it was Facebook, then it was Google. Now we have Twitter banning cryptocurrencies. Come on, guys, chill, man. What's 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 up? Come on, cryptocurrency is not coming to eat your lunch. Why are you banning cryptos? You know, and well, I don't know what to say, guys. Usually when People hear news like this, the price is gonna go pew, you know, but it'll go down. No. I don't know what to say about that news, it's just so discouraging. Next news we have is that Bitrex is delisting 82 different altcoins from their exchange by March. And you can read this on the Merkle.com. And the reason for this is very simple. None of these markets they see. Are performing as expected and then removing them is the only logical option now we, we've gotten to the stage in the cryptocurrency space where the real projects are going to survive and the shit coins and the coins that don't have any value or don't have the capacity or are not competitive enough are going to die and this is what we happen this is what we're seeing happening right now it's already happening guys it's already happening Next news we have IBM. IBM is uh, their own business for blockchain. You can get this news from Yahoo Finance. And uh, IBM enters blockchain. I, I find something very interesting in this article. And it says that IBM started working on a block blockchain project three to four years ago by forming a unit solely dedicated to the technology with more than 1,500 employees. Weak noted that and i'm reading quoting what she said she said we can't get enough people with skills in blockchain to fill up positions she indicated that the industry is hot and needs talent despite all the benefits she continued blockchain is still very hyped and very misunderstood now week mario week is the general manager of ibm blockchain she's the general ma manager now they just wrote that the from the unit in IBM employing more than 1,500 employees and yet that is not enough there's a lot of demand for blockchain developers blockchain marketers blockchain everything the field is so green very volatile very sporadic very 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 so if you're young and feisty and you want a little bit of adventure and you want a career that is going you know Give you the boost blockchain blockchain think blockchain guys blockchain now next news we have mastercard opens their arms to cryptocurrency but don't trust those guys there's a clause now mastercard has said that an executive confirms the mascot that mastercard is open to the use of cryptocurrency but these cryptocurrencies must be backed by government so there must be um um, national cryptocurrencies but that doesn't make sense because cryptocurrencies are not supposed to be issued by government you know it appears that the financial juggernaut i'm reading from the from bitcoinist.com it appears that the financial juggernaut has now changed their tune towards cryptocurrency you know they used to be very 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 negative about cryptocurrencies but now they've changed their tune but the reality is that they have not they seem to have changed that soon, but you know, but they're not because what they asked, what they what they said in this article is that 
and and this is Arisaka talking. It says the company is very happy to consider helping the use of cryptocurrencies, but only as long as these virtual currencies are issued by central banks. That's it, guys. What are you saying? You're not supporting cryptocurrencies, you're supporting central banks. Central cryptocurrencies are not supposed to be backed by banks because cryptocurrencies are the solution to the problem that the banks created in the first place. Now, the best news for today, probably the best news for today is uh, this news from this article I found in Medium. And it's talking about the fact that there's going to be a G20 meeting on cryptocurrencies today. For those of you that don't know what G20 is, G20 is the it means group of 20 is an international forum for governments and central banks from 20 different countries to sit and discuss policies pertaining pertaining to the promotion of international financial stability uh, stability yeah so let me just say that again i was reading from this from wikipedia now i usually state my source you know, so you guys can you know go and do some reading too because this is actually very interesting now, G20 is a group of 20, is an international forum for governments and central banks from 20 countries. I don't want to mention them. And it was founded in 1999. The aim is to discuss policies pertaining to the promotion of international financial stability. And yeah, they're just going to be sitting down and talking about cryptocurrencies. And I read an article, I don't have it here right now, that says that they are not actually going to be reinventing the wheel. They won't be making policies or you know creating new regulation but rather they'll be reviewing what is currently on ground you know making their contributions you know we're going to get more news about this i don't know the exact time but the date for their sitting is today and tomorrow which is 19th and 20th now if the outcome of the meeting is good good for those cryptocurrency fellas and if it's not we're still going to be around anyways just learning and trying to add value to the market <laughs> and sticking around because we believe in this stuff so that's it guys that's all for me to Jukaka. thank you guys for watching uh, leave a comment below or vote my post and i'll give you an upvote if your comment is honest it doesn't have to be good for me it doesn't have to be you don't you don't have to leave a comment that is uh that you don't have to flatter me. Just I just want us to discuss these things, guys. If you have information, if you feel that I've said something that is not correct, leave a comment about it. You know, you know, be nice with your comments, but you know, leave it anyway. And if it is honest, I'll give you an upvote. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. My name is Tujukaka.